Hello and welcome to the next project. <coughs> behind me, behind this sheet, is the next project, the next bike that I'm going to restore. Uh, but this little bit here is a bit of a of a play thing to see if you can guess what it is. The bike is Japanese, so it's not a Harley, it's not a BM, it's not a Ducati. It's not a triumph, not anything like that. It's Japanese. It is over 30 years old. Oh dear. Yeah, it's old, yeah. It's not a classic, but it is old. Um, it's 650cc. That reduces it by quite a, a, a large amount. And it was sold in Europe and America, but had a different name in both continents it was never sold officially in the uk mm. although there are quite a few in the uk because they're brilliant bikes everybody likes them it had a cousin a bike which was virtually the same uh, uh, mechanicals which was popular but it wasn't ever looked upon in the same way that this bike is funny that because of effectively it is the same machine <clears throat> so it's a twin cylinder twin cylinder 650 cc japanese over 30 years old what on earth could it be well it's beyond so what on earth could it be well <clears throat> better find out because in a minute i'm going to drop a sheet and then once i drop the sheet You'll all go, oh, is that it? Oh, oh dear. Thought it was going to be sunny. Far. Well, you know, you have to try and think of different things to do because it becomes a bit boring if you're doing the same bike all the time, the same jobs all the time. This is a bike that hasn't uh, turned a wheel for a long time, but whoever owned it before obviously used to look after it because there are some nice bits on it, um, but it does need a full restoration but once it's finished it will be a bloody nice bike so sit there and wait the reveal is coming your way moments away in a minute so here is the great reveal three two one go Honda 650 Bros, known in the UK as a Bros, but known in uh, the US as a Hawk GT. I think the Hawk GT sounds better, uh, but it's the same bike, so it doesn't make any difference. But yeah, I have bought myself a 650 Bros, which as you can see from looking around it here, look, it needs a full restoration. I don't know when this bike was last on the road. I think I checked the MOT history, and I think it was about 2014. But if you look, it's got a brand new rear shock absorber on it, and it's got a brand new or virtually brand new future exhaust system on it, which looks really nice. The tyres and all that look good, um, although obviously I won't be able to reuse them, but uh, when, the, when the thing was last used, it, they were probably fairly new. The brakes look in really good condition. The rear brake looks like it's a brand new unit. So that may have been fitted by the previous owner. Um, yeah, but you can see there are other areas where it needs plenty of attention. The, the paintwork, the, the tank is, you know, the, the paint is rubbish. But, 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 there's no major dents. There's no big scratches. There's no cracks and splits and all that in the, in the bodywork. And there isn't very much bodywork anyway. So... Um, my aim is to paint it a different colour. Yeah, I know, I'm going to paint it. Yeah, I know, so it'll be crap, won't it? Yeah, I know, I know, I'm a shit painter, but, you know, I like restoring vehicles myself. I like doing all of it myself. Uh, the seat, bloody hell, it needs a new seat. Well, yeah, yeah, well, 
I could buy a seat cover. You can buy those seat covers for about 30 quid. I could try and do it. <laughs> yeah, that would work, wouldn't it? Or I could get a local guy to do it, but then that, that's not restoring it, is it? But then I can't do it, to be honest, at all. I can't even have a go at it, so I'm probably wise if I just um, palm that off onto him. So the seat will probably not be uh, done by me. But everything else, I'm bloody well going to make sure I do it myself. Um, yeah. Uh, any thoughts about this bike? Uh, keep your eyes on the videos because the next video is going to be me stripping it. I'm going to give it a total strip uh, after <laughs> after I've tried to start the engine. Because the, the plan is try and start the engine. If I can get the engine to run, it doesn't have to run perfectly because the carbs probably want uh, stripping and rebuilding. But I just want it to run to make sure it does actually run. It is alive. And then if I can get it to run, that gives me an understanding of uh, what I need to do with the engine. Because if the thing won't run or if it, if it runs and it sounds like a bag of nails, then I know I've got to strip the engine down. I don't want to get to the... Uh, job of uh, making the engine look really nice putting it all back in the frame and then i've got to take it apart because the bottom end's hanging out so yeah yeah so basically stick with me have a look see what you think um any thoughts or any uh questions or whatever or any um things that you think i should do with this particular bike because another thing uh, with an older bike like this, I, I do like to keep it standard. I, I'm not really into modifications. The indicators that are on it are not original, which is a little bit... So I'll, I'll probably leave them because they don't look that bad. Uh, but I do like standard stuff. So yeah, let me know what you think. And uh, look forward to the next video, which will be getting it started and then stripping it down. See you soon. Bye.